What's up, everybody? I'm Slot, a movie guy. Here's my movie review of Venom, directed by Ruben Fletcher, the director of Zombieland, 30 Minutes or Less, Gangsta Squad, and this film stars Tom Hardy, Michelle Williams, Riz Ami, and the rest of the other cast and crew. And in this film, journalist Eddie Brock is trying to take down Carlton Drake, the notorious and brilliant founder of the Life Foundation. While investigating one of Drake's experiments, Eddie's body emerges with an alien venom leaving him with superhuman strength and power. Twist, dark, and fueled by range, Venom tries to control the new and dangerous abilities that Eddie finds so intoxicating. I'm a big Venom fan, so when I heard they making a solo Venom movie, I was really excited. I was excited that the director that did Zombielands was going to be involved, and Tom Hardy, one of my favorite actors in Hollywood, I think he's very phenomenal. I'd love to see him play the character James Bond one day. Hopefully, I'm hoping that happens. So, I couldn't ask for much better because I said the director and the actors and people that's involved, this might look good. This might be great. I've seen some of the trailers. Some of the trailers were, some of them were like, okay. Some of them kind of felt kind of like weird and stuff. I got what Venom said in the trailer, like the turd in the wind, it kind of like was like, uh, okay. So I was kind of a little bit skeptical, a little bit as when the new trailers keep coming out, I was kind of skeptical of what the, the movie's going to be, I like how they're going to go with it. I know some people were questioning on what Venom looks like. I thought the creation of Venom looks neat. Some of it might be a little questionable, but everybody's got their own opinions. And also, we've seen this character on a big screen before. Spider-Man 3, if y'all remembered, that didn't turn out great, but uh, we we know what happened with that. If you don't know, it's a long story, so that's for another time. So, what did I think about this movie? Let me get out the positives first about this movie. The first, the positives about this movie is the relationship with Eddie Brock and Venom. Basically, what I mean by that is where the symbiote that ends up getting on Eddie Brock Basically, Venom talks to Eddie Brock. If you've seen the trailers, you know what I'm talking about. From the movie, he talks to Eddie Brock, and I thought those aspects really was good. When Eddie Brock and the symbiote get on him and talks to him and stuff, tell him to do this and that, I actually bought into that. I thought that part was probably the best thing going for this movie. Though, that was fine. I enjoyed that. Great. Next thing I really enjoyed was the heart aspect of the symbiote thing in this movie. This, when they do the symbiote, they, have, they add a little heart aspect, which I like. And I think the director's part of that idea, because he, like I said, he did Zombieland. So I kind of liked his approach with this heart thing. It really, it really was like a new thing with the Venom movie. So I like the tone of that. Which, the tone is kind of questionable as the film goes on, which I will elaborate more on. But I did like that horror aspect of the symbiote. That was one of my favorite parts. So the Eddie Brock Venom relationship, great, and the horror aspect. Let me get on to storyline, because this is the one I was kind of a down for me. This is where I really found myself very disappointed with this film, was the storyline... Basically, in the beginning, I was kind of interesting how they was going with it, where the symbiote is kind of the new thing, where it's going after when it was going on humans and stuff. And now these scientists, where I mentioned Carl Drake, where they looking at the thing, they looking at symbiotes, they testing on people. That was a little bit one of those things I was looking for to be interesting. When it was a little bit was getting interesting, but as it was going on and on, it kind of get drawn out. Where you want to see Eddie Brock involved with it a little bit more. Which he does get involved. But it takes so long to get to the Venom part of it. Where we can see something exciting of it. It, go, it really does drag on to things. And it kind of does you kind of like waiting. Like the first like club like the first like 30 to 40 minutes. You're like okay. I'm just sitting here. That's really what's like one of the downers. Now I don't mind interesting like scientific stuff with the symbiote thing but when it's a movie of venom you're kind of wanting for it to get going 
And there's some parts of the storyline that does get interesting with Ed, with Eddie Brock. We get to see him as a reporter. I do think Tom Hardy really actually tried in his role. It's just certain things in here just the script just didn't do a, just didn't give much to his character like that. It it did give us a little, but it didn't do much for him at all. And that's was one of the downers too. The storyline I just found was like, eh, okay. It is when we get there, we get to the Venom parts though, they kind of cut like, they kind of cut so much here and there with Venom's character, which leads on to the action scenes. The action scenes with Venom could have been exciting. I just found myself trying to stay focused and it really bothers me so much that I like the Venom character and Venom's character is like kind of tough and raw. If you've seen like the Venom in the comic books and stuff, Venom does eat people and he does like rip things enough. He's a strong big dude. So it seemed like every action scene they cut away because like it was a couple of scenes like they said on reports that I've heard that say Venom's going to eat people's head. So when they show him eating people's head, they cut away from that so quick and it's like certain action scenes you just couldn't soak in they just go quick with the venom character and couple scenes they just cut 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 with that with the venom character and i don't like that i like action scenes of superhero movies i'm a big fan of that and when they cut and i've seen so many superhero movies some of them that's the bad ones do that and that irks my brain i just like why I just want to see a good action scenes. And there was a couple of them that was fine and all. But overall, that just, it didn't do it for me. It was kind of underwhelming. And I just wanted to see a good action scenes. CGI, is is it questionable? Uh, you might question on CGI. I didn't mind some of it with the symbiote. I actually liked it. It looked kind of wet and shiny and stuff. Like all gooey. I thought that part was really good. I thought... The symbiote part, I didn't really have a problem with the CGI. Talk about characters. <sighs> Whoa. That is one of the things I really, really have. That really was a big letdown for me. Characters like Michelle Williams, which I find is very talented. Her character, she really is... She Her character is really not... She don't. She she don't exist. This they don't do her character right here. Their character is just not written good at all. Her character is kind of just forgettable. It, it her relationship with Eddie, played by Tom Hardy, it just I never could feel that Kim. I just couldn't feel that because they never developed any of these characters or made them interesting. They never made a character interesting. You never once cared about her. You just didn't care for her character at all. And I just felt this character's like, oh, okay. She just kind of um helps Eddie when Eddie is in trouble with the symbiote. Just help him out and stuff. But it don't really, it when it goes there, it really doesn't get anywhere. And it just makes you just like, do you really actually care? I really never cared at all. I really did. Villain. Now, this is where I've heard where all movies from drama to action to com comedy or anything Disney related recent films we have our horrible villains this is the weakest part of the movie the villain resume think he's talented but his villain was nowhere to be seen I really never cared for this villain I never found him as a threat I get that he was doing a symbiote thing but I really never cared for this villain at all. This villain was horrible. I did not like the villain in this movie. And when he... this will, I don't want to get any spoilers. But I never cared for this villain. And that just was a letdown. It, it seemed like he could have been interesting in the beginning of the film. I get like he was like behind the scenes when things were going on. When he was looking at... When they were looking at the cameras, it might... Contains spoil when they look at computers when symbiotes are doing diff different things. He's like this kind of guy that's like this and that looking. 
And that's really one of the things I just was hoping that he could be threatening. And towards that, it does lead on to where he does, which this will contain a little spoiler. He does get the symbiote on him. And he fights the Venom character basically like towards the end basically as this this Venom creature guy. So, and I just really never cared about Venom. By the time that got to that part where him and Venom getting the showdown, I just didn't really care for it. I'm just like, uh, can this movie just end? It's really, his villain was just hard. Let me talk about tone. Now, in some parts of aspects, it gets silly here and there in this film. But it kind of really makes Tom Hardy do over-the-top things, which had me did giggle. I did laugh, but I don't know was it done intentionally on purpose. So, I, <laughs> it was really funny. I, it was one scene, I pretty much you know what I'm talking about. It's one scene that when Tom Hardy does something bizarre crazy, where the when the Venom creature gets on him or something, later on in the middle of the film, it was like one of the scenes. <laughs> This is one of those scenes where he, this one, I'm not going to even spoil it. You're going to have to see it for yourself. It's just crazy. I just think the tone here is just some aspects of the movie took itself serious. But in one part of the film, it just go way out of reach. It just, just caught me off guard. I didn't expect it. But it's some parts are entertaining. But some parts I just like, they really went for it. That's pretty much what I would get say about the tone of the film. Basically, the the rating of this movie that I know people talk about is it should should have been rated R or kept PG thirteen. Well, here's I here's my thing. This movie could have been rated R, but the thing, but so much things were so bad in this movie that I really don't think the rating would have matter would matter because recent film was rated R in recent years was was that rated R film and it's failed. So really it just come down to writing. If your writing's good, it doesn't matter how what the rating is. Now I prefer it to be rated R because there's some scenes that Venom does do things that you do expect. And I think that rated R would have made the movie a little bit better. We would have seen Venom just went off we we seen blood and stuff and all. I would love to see that. Because we've seen it in recent comic book films that took those risks. I'll just say them. Logan and Deadpool. Those films work because they took risk of a rated R film. And I like that. I wish Venom just took that rated R risk. That's what the character is. Rated R. That's Venom. And I just wish they did that. But like I said, the writing... Has to be better. As long as the ride is good, it can be Radar or P13. We still it would have been it would have been a good movie. P13. There have been violent P13 movies, but that's the thing I'll talk about in later time next time. But I'm just saying that's one of the things I wish this film did use and had a better writing. Overall, like I said, this film to me was disappointing. Now, if you enjoyed it. This film, you will have some fun with it. I can see people having fun with this film. For me, I wanted to see a better Venom movie, and I just didn't get it. But like I said, if you enjoyed it, your your title, your 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 film fan, the films are subjective. So I didn't enjoy it, and I wanted to see a better Venom movie, and I just didn't get it. I'm gonna give Venom a D minus. Anyways, guys, if you let me know in the comment section down below, what did you think about the movie? Did you like it or not? Let me know in the comment section down below. What did you think about the movie Venom? Let me know what's your favorite parts about it. What's your favorite aspect of the film? Let me know. Tell me. I would love to know. I get. I said in my review. So, anyways, and why like I said that's pretty much what I feel about this movie. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, click thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, click subscribe and the bell button. That's how I can see you next time on Slot the Movie Guy. Peace.